All right, episode two, we made it, boys. We made it. Camp Let's here. Go. We're after that huge debacle on Turd Island. We've uh, we're here. It's uh one thirty in the morning for me. What about you guys? It's twelve twenty one. Yeah, currently like about twelve twenty one for me too. Like literally fresh off the heels of this explosive fucking Turd Island stream. Dude, mm. I think it's been an explosive like just a day in general Night, bro. for genre, yeah. Yeah, I mean, their stream and then Turtle Island. Definitely, like, the, the, the temperature was turned up after your stream, Chthonic. Oh, uh, yeah. When it, when it comes to the rev shit, people are already revved up, ready to go. <laughs> yeah, but where are our manners, though? Welcome to At Least We Tried, uh, episode number two. Of yes. Of course, we've got Flatly in the house. Yes, sir. Chthonic Echo. Yo, yo. And Burn the World, joining us for episode number two. Let's go. Epi, and happy I am Lamp. Finally settled into my office, so you don't have to have that shitty uh, that mic. mobile quality. <laughs> yeah, that mobile quality, bro. It was wild, bro. It was, it was personality. Been... Bro, this Darcy with the $6,000 thing to rev, this yeah. is insane, bro. 6 k for alcohol or, or whatever that was. That's insane. Yeah. And then he yeah, basically she... took the stance, like, he was like, yo, I'm not paying that shit back, bro. She sent that shit to me. Oh, God, she ain't getting that shit back, Okay, bro. wait. Let's be real, though. Like, can you kind of not, like, respect that? <laughs> I'm be real. Like, I'm going to be real. Like, I might not give that back either. I'm not Dude, that's how like, I was like, If bro, someone betrayed my granted. trust like that, bro, if someone shitted on me like that yeah. and betrayed me the way I, I might not give that shit back. Like, mm. Dude, like if, yeah. if, yeah, Burn, if you came here, you started giving me like mad money, bro, and then you switched up on me and started suicide baiting and started being like real, real weird and stuff, I'd, I'd be like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna yeah, that I also I wouldn't give you money, but you know, I guess in the uh, no, I'd pay you stance. back now because you're cool. But if you start a suicide <laughs> bait, in, I don't think we can say Sui on YouTube, can we? Whatever, I already said yeah, it. You, just I mean, post, you can, you can put it in post. <laughs> you can, but it, it's a bit of a dodgy thing. You know what I mean? Mm. You might get age restricted. You might not. It is what oh, it yeah, is, my friends. Yeah, I might, I might not give that. Back. Yeah, and if you look at one of the screenshots, it, like Darcy describes like a five thousand dollar bottle of whiskey that he was gonna buy. That's so. insane, bro. What screenshot is it? Let me find it. It's the it's uh, one... last one I posted. Uh, yeah, well, I think it says, this like... is from Darcy's correspondence with uh, Ember Lily because mm. Ember Lily was the one that broke this piece of information. The yeah. uh, six stacks. Holy yeah. Shit. And I, I, I can't like I hate to say it, I kind of get Reb's point. Like Ember is kind of digging into his personal life. I kind of like understand where he's coming from. Where like they're bringing up his wife, they're bringing up the situation with Darcy Evans. They're going into his financials. Like it's kind of screwed by like in in my eyes that like Reb is a horrible person. That's like I'm not defending him at all, but I can understand why he's getting mad at Ember. Like, why the fuck are you going into my personal shit? Yeah, I don't know <laughs> why Ember. I like Ember. I don't know why she made this like her mission, hmm. but at the same time, they've been going at each other to try and get the one up in W. And I think this is Ember's way of getting that W. Hmm. I don't know if it's morally right. No. But at the same time, I think Ember is the kind of person that sees what's happening with Darcy and what Rev is saying, and she feels that Rev is not being 100% honest with this whole situation with Darcy. I mean, the screenshots are there. She she proved it herself with the screenshots she got from Darcy. Like, obviously, Rev's not mm -hmm. being 100% honest. But then Rev owns it all by saying, why do you give a fuck? So he already showed his cards that he doesn't care what you think about him. And he doesn't mm -hmm. care if you, you hate him for not paying the money back. So there's really nothing much more you could say against Rev there. Yeah, I do. I also like during like the Turtle Island, like she sneak disses in the nudes part while everyone was talking. Like, oh, he, he could talk about the nudes, and like no one really talked about it until she repeated it again. And then everyone right. was like, "Well, wait, Rev, you got nudes from Darcy?" <laughs> so I do Darcy this. had like later in the stream also mentioned that as well. Like, uh... mm. let's see. Yeah, I think it's in the it's in the little message that I've clipped out because Darcy joined the stream in chat 
And this is like literally two hours before we started recording here. And the second part of this message is just like, you know, literally in, like mentioning the nudes. So Darcy uh-huh. literally came in and said, you know, mentioned the nudes as well. Yeah. And for the sake of like, and for the sake of uh, making these like presentable to everyone, like I went through and redacted uh Rev's first name out of these because yeah. like out of respect for Rev's privacy. Yeah. As much as I can be in this situation because I don't want to be name dropping people like that's not my flavor yeah. of uh that's not, that's not my flavor of uh presentation and I personally wouldn't have went to the links that Ember did to like get the scoop but it, it yeah. kind of does recontextualize a lot of what happened last month with the whole Darcy Wait, thing too. Um, I do want to like ask or I I try to clarify uh did she dig for it or did Darcy if, if I remember correctly Darcy reached out to Ember Is that factual? I'm going to look yeah. back in the stream cuz yeah, look back in the stream cuz I because the way that Reb was describing it does, like, make it out to be, like, Ember was digging into it. I mean, like, I think there was a couple streams before uh, Ember did bring up that she found a, a little loophole that Ember, uh, that, that Darcy was giving people money to people. But she didn't say Reb ex- like, exactly, but she was hyping up the story that, like, she found out that Darcy was giving money to people. Um... I mean, yeah. I guess that's like a dumb thing that Darcy is doing, you know. But I do, th- I do like the only like the only problem also on tonight's Third Island that no one was like really answering the question that Badwick was saying to the panel. Like, should we also like put the so. other people like like should we also hold the other people the seventeen others uh, accountable for what Darcy Evans manipulation? Like giving, like forcing, not really forcing, but coercing Darcy to give these seventeen other people money. But I mean, he, like, it was, send, like we'd have send, to know the context uh, of like the interactions between these other people and Darcy, yeah. because like we've got the screenshots of you know uh, Rev and Darcy going back and forth on fucking Facebook Messenger, and it seems to be that like. Rev was reciprocating some of uh, Darcy's feelings, at least through text, and that might not be the case for all of the other people that were getting mm. money from Darcy. Those could have just been like, you know, hundred bombs on like fucking now recording or something. And it's not like now, and it's not like now recording has just been like Darcy, give us the fucking money. You, mm. you know what I mean? Did she? Did Darcy? Did Ember? Okay, let me let me let me back up. Yeah, we don't know any of the other people that. Is it commentary or just randos that Darcy was just giving money to? I believe it was stated that it was like seventeen total people, including Rev, in the commentary community that got money from Darcy. But like, like I said, like all of these people could just be like uh, content creators or streamers that Darcy donated to, and there could be people that did have more interaction with Darcy than just, you know, being live streamers and getting donations through chat. I agree. But, like, another thing as well to, like, touch back on, at least, is, like, like, Ember may not have uh, had to, you know, press for any of this information. Because, like, before the infamous call in Badwick's Discord that I'm sure, I, I don't know, I'm pretty sure three, at least three, or if not all of us, were in there for that one, to hear all of that go down. Are we talking about Ember, Leia? No, the Darcy versus... call. No, the Darcy, oh, Darcy call. call. Was... Yeah, okay. the Darcy call that happened last month. Yeah. Um, before that, Rev had just, like, you know, implicated his own involvement in that before Darcy had ever called into that. And if I remember correctly, the co- the correspondence between Darcy and Ember started because Rev was going off about how he's involved in the situation and that he knows more than everyone was sa- was uh, aware of. 
And yep. Ember had reached out to Darcy to clarify some of this, and that could be the beginning of that correspondence. And for all I know, at least, Dar you know, Ember could not have needed to press at all, really, to get this information out of Darcy because that correspondence started with Rev mentioning that he knew more about the situation than everyone else did. Mm. That's true. Yeah, I was I was so, there for like, I I know like flat. So as for Ember digging, that. it could you know like it could be that, but it also could just be Darcy oversharing like Darcy's known to. Mm. Uh, so Ember said that they re uh I think one of them Darcy or Broadsword didn't I didn't really try to press about it. Um, did reach out and gave her this information. Yeah, like it's uh, it's not too far of a reach to assume that, you know, uh, based on that like first correspondence w between Ember and Darcy, that Ember wouldn't have to press that hard for it because Darcy is known to overshare. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, this is just a crazy fucking situation because like. You know, I've been a content creator at least like uh, this time around. I've started, I started streaming again in like 2018. So it makes it mm. almost six years at this point that I've been, really been going with uh, content again. And I okay. can't say that I've ever like met anyone through content creation or being a part of like an online community that I've like ever asked for that much money from. <laughs> Or, mm. like, ask for, you know, like, ask for, like, favors like that from. Yeah. I, like, I, I, I even asked Rev the question, like, <laughs> if you didn't want the money, why didn't you just send it back as soon as, like, you got it? You know? Yeah, like, you could have money like, he in escrow and not spend it, but it's... that, well, that and, well, according to the screenshots that Ember's given us, he had fucking. Darcy's card. Therefore, he had her information. Why couldn't you just fucking just send back the money? Why would you spend it on five thousand dollar whiskey like a retard? <laughs> Knowing that you couldn't pay it back too. And why five thousand dollar fucking whiskey? Why? Bro? Why? <laughs> so you know what I would do with five grand? I'd probably buy a new PC, or I put it on a down payment for a car. Yeah, There's dog, like, that's three high-end PCs. Like, literally, my homie just fucking got a uh, PC for gaming, flatly, and he paid 1600 bucks for his PC, and it's, like, fairly high-end. And it runs COD at, like, 180 frames per second. But you could have bought fucking three of those and still had enough money for a fucking 165 hertz monitor on top of that. But it all went to fucking... Well, like alcohol and like normal, like day to day expenses, but it's just like, like, while you know, go back and forth with Darcy to like, like, in that regard, anyway, like, even mm. as friends or whatever, like, like, if I have a friend that's like just fucking insisting on sending me money when I know I'm like, okay. Or even if I'm not okay, like, you know, I don't want my, I don't want to feel like I'm like, you know, a charity case and I don't want to feel that way personally. Mm. I just like, like I get it. If you're down bad, you need like, granted. like help one time, but like monthly payments just seems weekly, like a little much. Weekly, bro. Weekly. weekly? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Well, if you, live, if you look through the screenshots, it's like, like a shit ton of money per week. It's like almost four, like four days between each of the deposits. Like I get it's so it's it's like I get I get the the moral the moral argument is it's wrong legally. He didn't do anything wrong, right? She's the only person solely responsible for that money. Mm -hmm. So Darcy's to blame here a little bit, and then on top of that, um. Darcy's now playing the card where um she's not being truthful da, 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 so she knows or he knows that he was being manipulated um some people don't know that in the moment but at the same time Darcy's got to take some responsibility here too I mean you got played Darcy you know what I'm saying bro yeah, yeah. sure <laughs> like you got played out of 6k but I mean like at the same time I 
Oh, it's gonna sound so weird because I I try to treat everybody with the most the utmost equality on the internet. If you're gonna make fun of other people and you're gonna interact with other people, you're gonna get treated the same way I treat everyone else. Mm. Uh, mental capacity or not, that's why I think it's like like uh, everyone had a problem with Leafy making fun of a, a special needs person online, and <laughs> my stance was, well, they're posting videos online, they should expect it, right? Everyone mm. should post online. Uh, expecting it because that's just how it is and people said well it's wrong i was like well if you say it's wrong that's a bigger argument to what's going on here at the same time i'm going to hold them to the same standard online like you can't get away with saying certain things like you can't get away with doing certain things like doxing you know saying slurs stuff like that i'm going to hold you to the yeah. same standard as everybody else therefore you know darcy uh i'm holding you to that standard you are responsible for sending that money now darcy is not taking the road of saying rev has to pay me back which in itself i think is pretty good um if you know darcy were to play the victim card it'd be a completely different uh different thing where she would say or he would say uh rev's taking advantage of me da da da, da. i mean he kind of was right but at the same time she didn't stop and rev never told her to stop yeah. or him to stop i keep saying her I'm so sorry, Darcy, if you're watching this. <laughs> it is what it is. Fuck wow. it. I don't give a fuck about anyone's pronouns. I'm going to do me. Yeah, I just <laughs> wanted to expand on the uh, anecdote that you brought up about, like, you know, uh, disabled people, like, po you know, like, mentally disabled people posting on the internet. Right. Mm. And it's just like, if you have, like, the faculty to, like, you know, make, the make videos and post videos yourself, like... It's fair to, you know, expect everyone to treat you the same as everyone else because, like, like a thing about be having, like, a mental handicap or a mental disability and, and it's not as, like, strong, mm. you know, like, autism is a great example. Like, I have autism. And it's like, I want people to treat me the same as they treat right. everyone else online. Like, it, it will piss me off if you patronize me and treat me like I'm a fucking special snowflake and that I can do no wrong. It's just like, yeah, give me criticism if I fucking deserve it because like, you know, you, you know, that should be the goal for people with disabilities is to be treated the same as everyone else. But mm. that's its own conversation. And to this end, like, yeah, Darcy has like a level of awareness of what was going on in this situation. And I do mm. feel for Darcy getting fucking played like this, but yeah, it I is guess like, it is like, it's just uh, fucking uh, shitty. Like it's a shitty situation. And this yeah. does kind of recontextualize what happened a month ago because it makes it a little more understandable as to how Darcy's mental state got to where it did before all of this, you know, this whole drama, the whole, uh, uh, attempt, uh, situation, if you will, like it kind of recontextualizes the, like the whole leading up to that, mm. because I imagine the whole, uh, the whole uh, confrontation or the falling out between Rev and Darcy happened before that. Mm. Yeah. And given that, you know, Darcy's given Rev so much money, I mean, I would be having some buyer's remorse too. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Mm. But uh, I don't want to come off as a dick here, but I am. It's just, it's just too bad during that time. It was clearly like the way Darcy was saying the situation was with her, like, with him in the hospital isn't really what happened, you know what I mean? Like, there was no brain hemorrhages, there was no strokes, hell, the the car's windshield wasn't busted, so how, you know... The crumple zones on the car itself. Yeah, you know, so the, like... I mean, we can speculate, we can, like, like make arguments for things. At this point, we're gonna... I, I'm, I'm comfortable with saying that Darcy is an unreliable narrator, same with, uh, Rev. Yeah. I exactly. think but you I can't think, understand where this situation yeah, kind I of understand. recontextualizes like the, the Darcy's mental state leading into all of this drama though, right? Like, I, 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 like I understand you your point, it, but right? also the severity of what Darcy was telling the internet. Well, the no, no, cousin no, 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 no. was Darcy telling the internet. Darcy wasn't was definitely... trying to tell the internet. I think what was happening, Darcy didn't want anyone else but Rev and Broadsword to see it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't think Darcy 
thought everyone was going to see this and spread it around. Like, I don't mm. think that's what they wanted at all. I think Darcy hit a moment. Ooh, excuse me. I just threw up a little in my mouth. I've been drinking. <laughs> Darcy had a falling <laughs> out with Rev, and and then Broadsword and uh, Rev and Darcy had that little that little fight or whatever's going on. And Darcy goes back feeling guilty and shameful. And wants to get back at Rev. So, so mad, right? So, so ashamed. And like, I need to make them feel guilty. And it's like a childish mentality almost. And they they faked it to make them feel bad, right? Mm. And then they had to make it believable. Like, super believable and probable. And almost like Chet GBT wrote the script, right? Mm. And then what the, the backlash of it is that me... You know, Lamp, you, Cathonic, we all found out about it, right? Like, people we yeah. never interacted with Darcy before found out about it. And so there's a bunch of groups like us and everybody else in commentary that didn't really know who Darcy was or kind of mm. knew or saw them around a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then we all focused in on that, like, whoa, what's going on? And then Darcy kind of, you know, the day after that, saw that everybody was talking about this. It's like, oh, shit. I yeah. need to respond to legitimize it. Then they ended up, you know, failing doing so. Really Over-talking over about it. Over-explaining. Usually, like, okay, with stories, sometimes I, I, I'll talk into the story. And then I'll go back to a previous point to add a detail because it just pops up into my head. But usually mm -hmm. when people are explaining a story with a bunch of details at first and then a bunch of details in the second one and then reiterating the same details before as they go into the next point, usually when they're oversharing like that, they're more than likely lying. Like sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, like here's an example. Sometimes I'll, I like uh, when I talk about my concussion, I'll be like, yeah, like um, I always would tie my left skate before before my right skate, stuff like, like random weird little little hints and stuff like that. And then I'll talk about the accident. Because those are like the first things that pop up into my head when I talk about my, my major concussion, right? It's the first things mm. like I remember during that day. If I started saying things like, and then we were singing songs on the bus and, you know, all these extra, like going super into fine detail and everything like that. Then you could start fabricating it to make it sound more believable. And more times yeah. not that person is always lying. Like if I said, and I scored three goals that game, and then I was in the hospital, and I remember the doctor's name and stuff. You're never gonna remember those kind of details, right? You'll yeah, never, yeah. you'll never remember those fine details. Like the, like when my story is plain and simple, I remember what I was doing in the morning, the bus ride, uh, getting ready for the game, and then I remember being on the bench watching the score clock on my way out when then I rushed to that corner, and then I was out just like that. And the next mm -hmm. day, I couldn't even form sentences. Like, I, I specifically remember trying to hold conversations with somebody for six to seven, like a week after the my, my major concussion. I could not keep a sentence. Like, I could not say a full sentence because i just forget what I was talking about right away. And then when mm. someone would try talking to me, I'd literally forget the first part of what they were telling me after like four or five words. And it was like, a, it's not a permanent thing. I forgot what it was called. There's a specific scientific word. But see, if I remember mm. the scientific word, yeah, actually, that would be like, over post right. syndrome. Like, like but I don't even remember like the specific lines. details of the, the days following yeah, like, that. I just yeah, like, remember I've had sentences. a crazy concussion too. And it's not to like try to one up you or anything flatly, no, but no, it's good. yeah, like you know, when I had mine, you know, like afterwards, like you know, I don't really remember, don't remember too it. much yeah. of uh, what happened, like immediately after, like the the shit happened. Besides the fact that I like I got up, I couldn't really see that well. My vision was blurry, and there's just a crowd of people around me because I was uh, in basketball practice, like. Last oh, word. class of the day, they had like an athletics uh, thing, you know, where you practice at the end of the day for your sport. Little drills and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, we were doing a scrimmage, and you know, I dove for a loose ball, fucking collided with a like collided with the brick wall, which was like ten feet away from the out of bounds line because I dove really hard for that ball, and fucking shoulder first into the wall, and. I get like I wake up like I come to and there's just a shitload of people around me and I get up and fucking my first instinct is to start swinging because I thought I was in a fight. 
<laughs> and I just got knocked the fuck out. Like that was my first instinct. Like I started swinging, and so I clocked crazy. like two or three people in the fucking face. It's so crazy. Jesus. Like because I don't have. I don't. Rem- I I remember one or two seconds. I remember getting loaded into the ambulance. That's it. And then the next day, I don't know what happened the next day. I don't know what happened the day after that. All I remember is trying to hold conversations the rest of the week. I don't remember anything that week. Darcy, yeah, however, I mean, probably wasn't was as like, bad as yours. But nah, like, Darcy I remember was like, was like walking to alert? the trash can like, what the fuck? and throwing up. And yeah, then I, I, fucking, uh, and then going and getting my little brother and telling him he has to drive home because you know I drove to school that day. Huh. It's just crazy. And then my mom takes me to the hospital. They tell me I had a concussion. And, like, literally the whole next week and a half, like, I have to wear fucking, uh, a neck like, brace? sunglasses. Oh, I don't I have to wear brace. sunglasses because I was, like, super sensitive to light. And, like, it would make me throw up when I, like, if the light was bright. I didn't get that. I just got the, I just got the, um, not manic headaches. What are they called? Uh, migraines. Yeah, and I started yeah. getting like, migraines, I had bad migraines randomly. Too. But now yeah. I get them on an annual. I have to take medication, so I get them on an annual occasion. But that's Same. because they're also looking out for like CTE stuff right now. I don't yeah. have CTE. I have early signs of it though. Hopefully, I don't fucking become you know like a vegetable when I'm fifty. But it is what it is. I had a good life. But it's Bro, just we're, crazy. We're, we're both gonna be schizophrenic. Yeah, we're we're, in we're our gonna be in wheelchairs 40s. and shit. <laughs> If Darcy no, had a we're, brain gonna be, no, we're gonna be like in our oh, we're gonna be like okay. acting strangely in our cars flatly, like all the former NFL players. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like yeah, Darcy but like, tries to tell me this story that they had a brain hemorrhage. I'm like, are you like are you what the fuck? You're not gonna like come on, bro. You can talk to any football player, any hockey player. Like majority of us have probably had some sort of brain bleed at a time, a major concussion, you know. I luckily I didn't have the brain bleed, but the side effects of everything else with the major concussion, uh, you did not have a brain bleed, bro. Mm. Is then they were like giving us details and like, oh my brother is the one that rescued me from the car, bro. When I was out, I was out. I don't remember nothing. I woke mm. up the next day. I do remember though. I I don't know if I was dreaming or not. I was arguing with, um. I think it was a dream. I'm not quite sure. But I was arguing with somebody because they told me I couldn't go to sleep. Maybe it wasn't a dream, but it really felt like a dream. Saying, you can't you can't take me out, only I can, or something like that. But um, mm. I don't think I slept that, that night. I, yeah, oh, like, I, I, had mine, I, I don't think they let you go see. to sleep. But this is literally the thing. I couldn't see. But for a whole other, like... For a whole month, Darcy was still paying Rev, according to Ember. After the he allegedly shot. cut her off, too. Yes. Or cut him off, excuse me. The fuck yeah. Was. Which, that's, uh, like, when he was, like, calling her out, uh, calling, oh, man, calling him out on, uh, Twitter. Mm. He was getting money from him. That's just, yeah, that's, um, that's shit. Well, yeah, I, I mean, the most recent here. uh payment here is on Valentine's Day, and that was for $300. Jesus Christ, Darcy. I'm just saying, bro, like, pay me. You know, I'm, just you know what I'm saying, like, I'll send you some videos. Uh, yeah, I God. think, yeah, you know, I'll split it with the homies. I mean, you know? for, I mean for six, <laughs> hey, I would have put out Let's like go. at least, I like, I would have. That meat would have been swinging, bro, for 6K. <laughs> there would have been some treats. You, you guys are dicks. <laughs> Dude, it's for 6K. Tributes. Hell yeah. For 6K, bro. You telling me you wouldn't? I mean, I would have put out, though, to be fair. Like, nah. I don't mm-hmm. know if I would have fucked, bro, because. Yeah. That's no. the line. That's the physical barrier line is when you cross the line. I'm, you know, I might have to talk with my wife real quick about that. Like, hey, babe, we can get like 6K for this. Hey, I mean, yeah, you're married flatly, but I'm single. Like, oh, put out, bro. I thought you were married, Blamp. I thought bro. you were married. No, too. no. I'm <laughs> what the fuck? I thought you had a wife. But if, if I'm, if I am, uh, if I'm Rev. I don't think I give that money back. I'm gonna be real. Like, yeah. if everyone was attacking me like that today, I'm like the like the way I would have took the stance with Rev. I would have been like, you can't fucking degrade me. I've seen what makes all you motherfuckers on Turd Island cheer. I know who you are. You can't degrade me. Mm. 
And I also see, like, Sen's point, like, Rev kind of brought the dog piling on himself. He's a dick to everybody. But, yeah, he was being a dick to everybody, but this also stemmed from Cathonic's stream. So people already had the intention to dogpile him. Cathonic's gonna blow up and forget about us. So, you know, like, yeah, I need, I need like, a quick uh, recap oh, of what went down before I even joined on your uh, stream, Cathonic, because oh, I was playing yes, the finals. Yes, yes, play. So, it was first, so, like, the first half of my, like, my streaming of today was, uh, was playing a Mass Effect Paragon run, right? So then, like, Slug later joins, because he was like, I forget what he wanted to talk about. Yeah. Um, was like, I, remember, it was about, I was in no, there for a bit when Slug was could, in there, and then he started talking about uh, Steve DeLeave's police records. And I was like, yeah. you know what? I'm gonna go back to playing the finals. Like, I don't uh, want Echo. It was about. It was a really yeah, gay. Get it was a really stupid and gay records. conversation. It was a really stupid and gay conversation about how blackballing is bad and who owns, who makes the oh, rules yeah. about commentary. It was the commentary, commentary double standard shit. Uh, yeah, crap. double standards. Then, like, Red had a good point though. Like. Who 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 is making the rules of the commentary community? <laughs> and yeah. Who are they to make? And who well, are they I mean, to make? As such simply rules? as I can put it, people inherently have their own biases, and if you say you don't have a bias, you're fucking lying. And at least the least you could do to your audience, if you're a creator, is to make your biases apparent and mm. not create a conflict of interest in your content. Mm. Well, okay. So but there's then, a reason I don't make videos about people that I've personally had beef with, like you know, like really personal beef with. Yeah. Mm. So after that conversation, I think like Slug started going schizo about Ember, mm. and then um. Based. Wait. <laughs> what? Just saying that Slug's playing his character well. <laughs> and then uh yeah, he came in, was doing the schizo shit uh with Ember, and then um fucking uh, I think uh yeah, Leia something joined and was like uh dog kind of dogpiling with slug on Ember. Mm. And then um I think Leia uh I think Rev wanted to call out Leia for something. And then somehow out of all of that, Rev got that Leia said that, uh, Leia said yeah. that, like, wait, well, yeah, he, Rev like, false flag, flag some shit? Yeah, she, he thought, he thought Leia was calling him a false flagger when it was going towards Ember. I mean, Leia was already going against Ember in chat before she called in, but when she yeah. called in, she called in for two seconds. Um, she was calling people a flag, she was calling Ember a flag, and then... Uh, that a flag is a flag. It doesn't matter. And I brought up the point that I guess didn't. I guess no one really like wanted to go into. Is like no, if someone's like putting a dox in a video, definitely fucking flag that. I'm not gonna fucking put you down for it. Wow. If there's a dox in a video, really? yeah, fucking flag it. Do if it. my name, my like my full dox was in one of your videos, I damn mean, right I'm flagging I it. Mean, yeah, that's what the privacy <laughs> complaint yeah, system is actually intended yeah. for. You know, he was complaining yeah. about that. Um, no, apparently then, like, Leia then, said, yeah, then, yeah well, Leia and well, fucking he Rev thought, it. he thought that Leia said that he, uh, flagged somebody. Uh, I, then... No, Rev thinks that, no, Rev thinks that Leia said that he flagged her. And that's or... what started it. And then it went into Badwick's kids. <laughs> no, yeah, because then he brought that up and he started just going ballistic and then he just started going, like, ballistic on everyone. Called me a bad person, bro. That hurt me in the feelings. Yeah, like when I came in from playing the finals, I had seen Echo's tweet saying that Rev was fucking just going off on his stream, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna see what's up. And I come in, and Rev is fucking going at Huggy and like, oh my know, god, belittling him based on his like uh, numbers. <laughs> Which is like always like one of the most autistic things I can fucking ever see in commentary is when mm. people start spurging about numbers, bro. Like nobody really cares that much about your fucking numbers, bro. Or mm. like what you think about anyone else's numbers. Just do your own fucking thing and don't, you know, brag about your numbers all the fucking time. Literally mm. one of the most like spurg coded things you can do is fucking spurg about numbers, bro. Yeah, numbers, numbers. Like, it's one thing if you have a video that does well and you're like, oh shit, 
this video is doing well hell yeah and then it's a different thing when you're like bitching about your numbers or like one of your videos doesn't do well and you cry and whine about it like Jalen used to yeah and it's just fucking always really fucking annoying when people uh bring up numbers in that way because i've noticed it a lot in commentary since i joined the community back in like 2022 Mm. but like i felt like that was kind of a retarded like way to attack uh huggy yeah no i think he was bringing up some retarded shit and i think he was like also he like i don't know yeah i think he was being kind of malicious about the the, the call because he was there and he knows what happened but still he wants to write it off like leia was like saying something about the kids Mm. Which was kind of disin, like not kind of. It was disingenuous to like yeah. try to frame it that way. Well, at least we got the answer. She'll never work with Badwick again. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those. It is what it is kind of deals. Yeah. Because I've talked to Leia and Badwick separately, and you know that bridge isn't being mended anytime soon. And I'm just content with like not getting in the middle of that. Mm. And trying to be a fucking uh, middleman for that. When, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you just, you know when to fucking pull out of uh, trying yeah. with something. But I just mainly messaged both of them to be like, hey, are you okay? You know, because that yeah. shit got really heated. I agree. And I would always, you know, that's kind of what I always do when like mutuals of mine just like get into it really heavily like that. Because it's like... When my mutuals get into it, I don't fucking play sides, and I don't intend to fucking be like Game of Thrones in the way where I have to pick a side. Yeah, because exactly. like if you if you're gonna like, like this is something that really gets on my nerves personally. Like if you're gonna fucking do the ultimatum to me, I'm just gonna be like fuck you. Like mm. I'm not doing this. Like. If you feel if like if it hurts your feeling so bad that I'm not gonna staunchly defend you or the other person and let you guys figure this out on your own or let it be what it is, like you know, so be it. Then you can burn the bridge with me too. Mm. And I like in the perspective of like Badwick and probably like Leia, like. If that bridge like would to be mended, like it's also Kaylee's gonna be involved in that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like it's like a kerfuffle that won't be mended because it's technically two people that have to mend the bridge with Leia, and Leia's yeah. already going fuck you, nah, fuck you both. <laughs> I mean, maybe yeah. though, because this has happened before with Leia. Well, other the people before. in the community as well, not just Leia. But they burn the bridge and then end up, like, you know, mending it at some point. But you never know. Yeah, but it's just fucking crazy seeing Rev, like, going balls to the wall arguing with fucking Victor Burns before uh, Turn Island starts on your stream, uh, Echo. Oh my god, dude. That, that shit was, was good, dude. That shit was entertaining, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fucking, I've hilarious. never seen Victor get so fucking angry. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah, he was pissed. I mean, yeah, he's yeah, trying to was pedophile. fucking pissed. Like, yeah, understandably so, because, like, yeah. he's been fucking All... smeared as a <laughs> well, uh, look. pedophile. Well, look at it this way. There's there's some good, damn good content coming to fucking Wall Smashers. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sick. Wall Smashers. Uh, Rev won't be there for long. No, <laughs> Burn stocks are up. Really. Yeah, my, they do. Like, More people like, that as leave, as Wall Smashers better. cast goes... I believe Triton and Burn have the most longevity out of everybody that's yeah. there now. So I don't really give a shit Triton's what people Triton's never going to go anywhere. Yeah Triton, yeah, Triton takes it like a man. Mm. Like, you know, like you can talk shit about Triton all you want, but he'll fucking take it on the chin and he'll fucking have his rebuttal for it. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, I, I don't before, know if y'all remember the Triton ahead. versus the World stream from last yep. year on Bad Wake's Kick channel. That, that shit was, was sick, Yes. What happened? I, I have no, I mean, like, literally, fucking like Triton fucking debated Nintendo Mail, fucking Slug, Leia something, 
and then got destroyed by Empress K. And at some point, fucking uh, Hugin fucking was crying and pulled Badwick into a one-on-one call during that stream. That was a wild stream. Wait, wait, wait. So he fought three people, lost to one, or he just lost to everybody? Nah, he beat Nintendo Mail, then got beat by Slug, then wow. got beat by Leia something, and then also just got in- career-ended by fucking mm. Empress K. She fucking... Buried his ass in that one. Mm. Send me a link after this because I want to see it. What I happened. don't think it's up anywhere. I think it's uh, like gone from Badwick's Kick channel because you know VOD storage isn't that good on Kick, and he never uh, posted it on YouTube because uh, damn slurs were dropped. Oh, yo, okay. just edit that out. Come on, Badwick. Bad, yeah, Badwick's just getting into like the uh, post production side of things, like mm. literally. Damn. Okay. I don't. Yeah, I really don't know anything about like the turn Char- of twenty twenty four. Like, I think his old PC wasn't like capable of running mm. like editing software with like rendering and shit. Yeah. So when he got this new PC at the end of last year, he just started getting into doing the post production kind of things himself. Yeah, and I uh, the only thing I know about Triton, I guess at the time, is that like I thought he was like sector people. Like I thought he was like you know, like huge. Triton, Triton, he's not really like he just he doesn't hold any allegiances. He's just like a contrarian. Okay. Like it's he's like, not, I was like, like, I he's not like with the status quo of uh, like you know the top dogs of the community, which is like whatever. Yeah. Uh, flatly, why do you think that Triton's not going to go anywhere? He's got no reason to. He's gonna stick around. Well, I mean, I'm like, oh, I thought you meant like he's not gonna go anywhere with like. His, oh like, no, with no, his no, 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 no! I was like, he's holy no, shit! He's got nowhere no, else like, to go. Wall Smashers, yeah, <laughs> Wall Smashers is Wall Smashers is good for his image. I mean, he's gonna keep. It'd be kind of retarded for him to leave. Yeah, mm-hmm. he wouldn't shoot himself. In, I mean, he does shoot himself in the foot all the time, but he's not. He's not gonna leave Wall Smashers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homie and can then, like, the at, I mean, those. And There's Rev and Vic- the thing about the Wall Smashers now is like three people hate each other. Like Good. Rev hates fucking Victor and Echo, two members of Wall Smashers. I don't really care for Rev. I mean, I've, I've already said like I don't like Rev at all. But like, if I have to work with him, I'll have to work with him. <laughs> Victor was going yeah. away from commentary. Well, he's in Wall I mean, Smashers he, he now. Usually, I didn't even. Yeah, he, I was like, told he by him. I was like, told usually, by Echo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was yeah. the motherfucker. <laughs> I was told by Echo Tragedy and Badwick that Victor was supposed to be a guest, but I guess he's just sticking around. Yeah, like Victor does this where he just like says he's gonna leave commentary, and then Everybody like the next the week he's like posting about drama again. Uh, like Slug does that too. Like you, you know, Slug does that as well, where he'll say that he's like leave, you know, not leaving like making commentary content or like not getting involved in drama. Mm. And then like a week later he's posting about drama and getting himself into drama. Mm. Right. I kind of I kind of wish that Asher's didn't fucking leave cuz that would've been Asher's That would've been fun as shit. That would've been fire, bro. Still waiting and, on uh, that, uh, flatly, uh, I've been sent flatly, I did send you that screenshot. I guess the Keemstar show is coming back. I guess you got your job. <laughs> I guess you got your old job back. We'll see if I get mod back in that cord. I don't think it'll be the same. Yeah, I saw uh, Keem posting about uh, some some dude. Like I don't yeah. remember what his name the is. Uf, the UFO lol calf. And then he's going to yeah. do a stream on the at Keemstar Show YouTube channel. So what, oh. so what is it going to be? Keem and uh, Pat God? And Pat God's even like down to do that? I'm guessing. I don't know. But I guess Keemstar Show's back. Um... Obviously, Locale Live is here to stay, even though they've ended 15,000 times. <laughs> so then it's the beauty of it. It's part of the art. No? Mm. Hey, I mean, Wings of Redemption kind of fucking... He did do a debate with Wings 007. Oh, my know, God. Which is one of his, like, more notorious trolls. And fucking Wings destroyed him. It wasn't even, like... Yeah, I have not seen that it... yet. 
I'm like I'm not gonna spoil it too much, but Boogie and fucking Wings destroyed him. It wasn't even like a fair fight. Really? It wasn't. It wasn't a dog pile. It wasn't nothing. It was just Wings and fucking Boogie destroying this guy. The troll got trolled. Wow. By Wings. And <laughs> it was amazing. Because this guy's a up? degenerate anyway. Wings 007 had like. Has a history of him has of himself like literally like there there are like allegations of actual pedophilia, not calling him a pedophile. But yeah, like, Wings Double O Seven is like a really like a huge piece of shit. Like yeah, this it's, guy like it's very well known to mm. people that like have followed the Wings story that he's like a giant piece of shit. Yeah, so him trying to like from Ethan Ralph that big loss against him. Yeah, he uh, basically, yeah, Wings 007 did try like the same talking points as Ethan. But the thing is, like, he's not fucking he's Ethan Ralph. Yeah, he doesn't have the, <laughs> he's like, not he Ethan doesn't Ralph. the charisma of Ethan Ralph. Like, I'll give Ethan Ralph that. He has, like, the charisma to, th- you know, go down Wings and Boogie's throats. And the Boogie Wings and 007, wings like, oh, no, I can no, no, only no. assume. We saw this before, bro. We saw this one. Yeah, bro. I can only assume that Wings 007 just isn't a very uh you know charismatic guy and he's not very uh like he's not very good at like expressing himself i'm pretty sure he's like really awkward or something not real mm. like i don't know that's a lot of these guys i mean i get like like you don't like that's the kind kid. of that's the kind of like impression that you get from people yeah. that uh dox and fucking you know, metal like that to that level. Yeah, the like I get from wings double. The too. wings double oh seven is the N word boy to Cyrax, bro. Wow. Uh, and that... Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna ask him really quick because I don't think this these DMs are uh, shown. <laughs> and like, I'm like, I'm just gonna say, well, N word boy is also her? like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. I just have her join. join. Tell her to join Chilling and then drag her in. Okay. But yeah, Lamp, uh, dub, like Wing, like N Word Boy, the Cyrax Mega Troll is yeah. also like an extreme doxer. Is he really? <laughs> yeah. I yes. Mean, yes. 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 Yeah, like he is. the yeah, like the he's been, uh, he the was posting for the locals are like a step removed from you know commentary and like you know it's like how commentary is similar to like Kiwi yeah. Farms. The right. Kiwi Farms has like the lax stance on doxing. Yeah. Like the A logs are like a step removed from that because the Kiwi farmers themselves, like most of them, don't mm. personally get involved in the trolling of uh, the low cows, right? Yeah. Like that's one thing the Kiwi farms doesn't really like as a whole mm. is like they don't like people like interfering and, you know, fucking with the fun. Yeah. And like. Yeah, Emmer Boy's been posting like phone numbers, uh, hotels. Yeah, this guy is like, like he's posted the location of Cyrax multiple times. Uh, Tibbs, another like pet- a pedophile hunter that turned out to be a pedophile. Every hotel that this guy goes to, Emmer Boy just happens to know where he is, <laughs> telling his audience to fucking call the hotel, dox the hotel, flag swat the hotel, like. Him and like him and Wings Double Seven should get together because they're a per- perfect couple of retardation. That'd be a nightmare, though. Yeah. Okay. All right, Ember's uh, in chilling. Uh, just right, drag so her okay. in, please. Yeah, get okay. in here. Get her in here. We're we're recording, Ember. We're on the AWT podcast. Welcome. What's up? You're technically our first guest. Holy shit. Yeah. Burn you. So don't we were kind. Of, we were kind of talking about the rev shit, right? And uh, you sent me the pictures. Was that sent in the stream at all? And I didn't. I didn't want to just show those screenshots because I didn't know. No, they were not sent in the stream. But you can show them because those came from something Darcy tweeted out like two minutes ago. Oh my god, dude! So this is a bombshell, my guys. Uh Oh, oh, oh. I can't see the side chat, so I don't know what it is. All right. Hold on, Let's see. I'll if you can, if you can open the uh, side chat of this VC, Ember, like right, those Bird, are you the ones that were sh- were on the stream, but I redacted. Uh, uh, still says try Rev's again. But I fine. cannot see the side chat. I don't have perms. Uh, all right, try and leave and rejoin. Hold on, Let me give Oh you yeah, I forgot. The first name is still visible. Fuck. 
Let me, uh, let me disconnect. Um, yeah, but he that. said his first name publicly, and Darcy continues to say their first name publicly, so, like, eh, whatever. It is what it is at this point, bro. Yeah, I still can't see it. It's whatever. It is. It's, uh, fuck it. I mean, she just, um, uh, Ember just posted it in, in general. Yeah, I posted Darcy's tweet. That's where those, um, last screenshots came from. Holy Uh oh. Yeah, if you want to throw those up for the video, uh, flatly, these are some bombshell fucking text right here. Like, so. I'm just further proved everything I was you, saying. You, the person, the being, the human, in love with. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this guy was thirsting hard, bro. Was I even like. As stated, it doesn't have to be a physical level. You possess a lot of attributes one can love and be in love with. In love, the Darcy says, in love with, question you, the person, the being, the human. That doesn't sound platonic. I no. love you for who you are, your patience, your being, your char char characteristics, your humanism, you being you. Man, I fucking love Quist. I don't care about that part. You uh, you have to watch True Romance. Yeah, this guy, holy fuck. Yeah, Darcy <laughs> said in love with, question mark, and Rev responded, you, the person, the being, the human. So Rev admitted to being in love with Darcy. Yeah, I don't tell my homies that. Exactly. I would say, bro, I love you, bro. Don't ever change on me. If I was being platonic exactly. and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, mean. I love you, bro. I know you've been through some bad stuff. Me and you have been through some bad stuff together. But we're going to make it out at the end, bro. Stay true to yourself, my guy. Now, I would say some shit like that. Now, I love you, Cathonic. The person, the human. I love you. I'd be like, I love you, too. I'm going to kiss, I'm gonna kiss you. I'm gonna kiss you on the lips. Bro, this fucking <laughs> weird, bro. But yeah, I think uh, like the more DMs that are shown, that's why I was kind of like a little bit pressing you on like Turd Island about the, right. the screenshots because it just seems like uh, from my point of view a little bit, it kind of seemed like um, it, it was um, what I'm trying to say. Fucking Darcy was being more malicious and using you as more of a scapegoat not to like fully directly deal with the situation, which I feel is kind of pussy. What I've learned, especially with Ember and Call... Sorry, Ember, I'm, I'm talking about you as if you're not here. What I've learned, no, though, with, with Ember and Calls is if you have a question about something that she's involved with, uh, you're better off just asking it then and there. Even if it's, like, uh, if it even sounds malicious in a way. Because you're, mm. you're more than likely always going to get an honest answer out of it. Yeah. Than to let it simmer and then other people having the same questions because then it just gets worse and snowballs. Because people always assume the worst in this community with Ember for some reason. It's the same thing with like Milltown. Like when everyone started asking all these questions about Milltown without ever ask or actually asking Milltown those questions. Like when we when he took that break with his mental health, no one ever asked asked him any of the actual questions that snowballed from Turd Island into some weird misunderstanding. Mm. Well, that's my experience. Yeah, so, so if you Ember, ever now that you're here, I was speculating ask. earlier because we, you know, we didn't expect you to call in here. That, uh, like, the original correspondence with Darcy, the day that of the call, if you remember, Rev mm -hmm. was in that VC talking all that shit about he knows more about the situation than everyone else and you dm darcy to like clarify some of this or to ask about that and open that dialogue was that just did darcy really just feed you a lot of this information like without any really prompting on oh, your end you know I after answered, that original I, uh dialogue? I answered my own question lamp i just i probably have like 40 to 60 messages from Darcy to my one response every time. Like, he just kept going. Even if I wasn't paying attention, it could go. I could go a whole day, like, being at work and not answering him, and he would still just keep posting screenshots or DMs or explanations and more screenshots, and it was it was nuts. It was a week of this, and more and more. So Jesus I was God. dead ass on the money <laughs> with my speculation, because I said, look, like, 
Ember opened the dialogue, you know, because Rev was talking out of his ass about how he knows more about the situation than everyone else. And Darcy was messaged to, like, clarify that. And I guess that opened the dialogue. And Darcy being known for oversharing is just dropping a lot of this shit on Ember without (laughs) Ember really pushing him for it. That was what I said earlier. Mm. To clarify, Darcy also didn't ask me to make any of this public. He actually had the opinion that I, I believe he messaged Badwick to try to block me from talking about this on the Turd Island. Mm. But I was also oh. very transparent with Darcy that I planned to confront Rev, and he never once told me, no, please don't do that. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, this information is important because it recontextualizes the entire drama from a month ago. I yes. think so. And, and that's I exactly what I thought. Earlier, right? and, uh, In the podcast, I, I said, I don't know why Ember made this her mission to do this. But now, I think I kind of answered my own question. I think Ember just had a one general question, and it opened the Pandora's box from Darcy's side. Well, that's kind of what I tried to tell Chthonic, is that like through all of these like mass messages I'm trying to like skim and read, and I'm realizing that I'm seeing red flag after red flag, and they're all about Rev. And I'm starting to do the math there. And then I maybe asked like a couple clarifying questions to make sure that I understood what he was implying or Mm. even saying directly. And then it was like, holy shit, this is absolutely insane. Mm. I I guess my question is, did Darcy reveal the 17 other commentary channels that Darcy was no, he will no, he did not, and he will not give me names, and I did not press him for that okay. because I did not think that it was Proper. relative. Relevant, right? Yeah, okay. Because when you break it down, right? Because Rev wanted to bring that up to seventeen other people. So when you break that down, the seventeen other people combined received a total of twenty three hundred dollars in funds from Darcy. That averages Shit. out to like hundred and thirty five dollars a person. Rev got six thousand. to Rev, wow. So do you see why I don't think that, like, his, his, like, weak argument of, like, we'll bring up the other people, I don't really think that's relevant. You could argue that $135 is helping out a buddy. You can't argue that for $6,000. What do you think, uh, Leia, something? Don't you dare. (laughs) Awesome. All right, awesome, Leia. Thank you. That was great input. Uh, For those of you that don't know, Leia was supposed to be here. Again. She wasn't. But it happened. But hey. We're just going to keep asking her questions, and then her silence is just a yes for everything we do until she shows up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to edit in some audio of Leia. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. AI Leia, bro. AI, AI Leia something. <laughs> <laughs> like, how, like how now recording did that to Flamenco? Just do AI fucking Leia? Yeah. But, yeah, like I said, this like this information recontextualizes the drama from a month ago. And it doesn't exactly serve to vindicate Darcy, but it does serve to explain a bit of, like, what was going on with Darcy leading up to this. Like, you know, the degradation of mental faculties leading well, up to this. It kind of explains why Darcy was blaming Rev for his mental state, and it explains yeah. why Rev busted into the call acting like he had all of this, like, juicy information that he didn't want to share. True. Yeah, like I like I stated earlier before you joined the call, uh, Ember, that it like it made sense to me why Darcy's mental state would tank like that because mm. I'm assuming like the big confrontation or the big uh, cutting off from uh, Rev, if you will, happened before this whole attempt. And like I said, like personally, if I were in Darcy's spot. I would have a little virus remorse too and be really fucking upset. Yeah, yeah I think like, it's like six G's. Like, come on, like I get pissed off over a hundred dollars. Like, I'd be extremely pissed off over six G's. Yeah, bro. Fuck. And I think that would be and like uh, now that I see like Darcy is dropping DMs, do you Ember like predict that Darcy's gonna drop the DMs of the Fallout, or was the Fallout in a call? Um, like, a little bit of because both. we gotta figure out what the fallout really was and what you know caused the fallout. I think it was a little bit of both, probably in a call and over DMs, and the fallout is just really a stupid nothing burger about them all being messy. Honestly, 
it comes down to you have a marriage dissolved or not between two people and you insert a third person in the middle of that and that third person then plays the go-between to give each person on the other side like conversations from the other like from person a to person b mm. and that all just gets really messy right like th there's no way that that comes out in a good way no, not and that's all. exactly what happened when darcy was in their house and that was very much played up by Rev, like demanding that Darcy shares broadswords, like conversations and DMs with him and blah, blah, blah. And of course, Darcy's doing all this because he's in love with the guy. Mm. But I, what I think is weird is that, um, that makes no sense. and I, I kind of already know that Rev's probably going to watch this, but um, I, what I think is weird is that he tried to like be like, OK, well, then what's a broadsword's real name? And then I'm, it's just like, OK, do we need to like. Do we need to do this? <laughs> yeah, yeah like, that was really I fucked think. of him to do that to Milltown because, like, Milltown was fucking cooking him, but still, like, to try and put Milltown in that position to fucking, you, you know, because it's like if Milltown says it, then he's gonna like has have the ability to turn around and be like, "See, you did you name dropped her." Da, 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 da. It's like, bro, come on, like, you don't do it, that bro. to Milltown. But but my position on that is well you asked for it so you got what you asked for yeah exactly but it's so, just like hey, but... just, yeah still like it's really fucked to do that to Milltown to put him That's on the true. spot like that while Milltown was absolutely grilling the dude yeah because Milltown was coming in with some solid heat and that's a Milltown W mm. and I can corroborate the things that Milltown said on that stream at least for the p most part he was talking so fast I might have missed something but like. The whole sending pictures of empty fridges and cupboards and talking about financial stresses like that, I've all seen screenshots of. That's very real. Of Rev or Darcy doing it? Rev. Um, yeah, of Rev and Broadsword doing that to Darcy to, like, like solicit money. That is so fucked. Well, and that's the other thing, is that Rev keeps drawing Broadsword into this, but by admission of both Rev and Broadsword, they've told me that Broadsword did not know about the money Rev was receiving from Darcy. Well, he did not know the total or the frequency. Jesus yeah, from Christ. the conversations I've had with Rev and Broadsword, it seemed like she was like less uh, complicit in whatever the fuck uh, fuckery was going on. She mm. just seemed like she really didn't, you know, have like the full picture of what's going on or just like didn't want to share that really mm. but it seems like she was more innocent in that i think that i think that um rev runs the finances and it really looks to me like she's just a stay-at-home mom and is not involved in what's going on with the bills mm. because she she said she did not know and then rev messaged me and said she did not know so mm. well, that is really fucked though that is really fucked here, I'm gonna you know what, Ember. I'm gonna send you a picture of my empty fridge. You better pay me money to fill it, bro. Be a good friend. <laughs> also, uh, gents, the the two screenshots, uh, the two new ones, I basically say... of Rev saying mm. that he's in love with Darcy, the person, and not like the physical or whatever. Like, I took the liberty of redacting the name out of those. I don't know if y'all want to use those, but yeah, yeah they're use them. redacted. I mean, on this screenshot, screenshot number four, uh, so I'm saying it, I love you, Darcy, and then Darcy asks, but is that what you feel? And then I wouldn't say it if I, wouldn't, if I didn't mean it. Bro. So he did say right there, Dar again, he's saying to Darcy, so I'm saying it, I love you, Darcy. Darcy says, but is that what you feel? Rev responds with, I wouldn't say it if I didn't Doubling mean Doubling down. That's not platonic, But then he bro. came in the call tonight mm. and said that he was, like, physically repulsed by Darcy's touch. So you're you're really just self-reporting here that you're doing this for a non-true reason. Like, obviously, you're not in love with him as a person. Mm. Or you would not be repulsed by their touch. That's that's just common sense. Mm. True that. Man, just playing it up. 
Well, he got six thousand dollars out of it, so whatever. <laughs> I am very happy with that stream because I complained about getting money, and then I actually got someone to buy me Hell Divers too. Now I'm gonna go tell Small PP that I love him very dearly. Him, the human, the person, the being. <laughs> Wait, dude, can we make that a copy pasta, please? You, the person, the being, the human. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, Let's go. AWT episode two. You, the person, the being, the human. That's the title. Dude, yes. That's, that's the title, yes. Um write that down in notes real quick. Anything else? I don't know. I think I think we said so, everything. Yeah, I think that but is yeah, everything. Like throughout the, that the stream show. though, uh Huggy fucking cooked Rev really hard on Turd Allen fucking Dude. Who was yeah, I want to know lines, what... bro. Who's yeah, like, Huggy Shen was GBT play, uh, like who headlines. was yeah who was the bug in Huggy's ear because he right, was cooking way I'm... harder than he had any right to. Nah, bro, no one was, dude. I swear to God, he came in with the heat dude, on everything. He dude. Huggy drawn. has told me in private and publicly that Rev has been going at him for a while, like a long while. I mean, like that's I why also like heard the same thing. That uh, Rev has been going. After. I think he's been cooking. And then I mean, Ember was yeah. there when Ember called in. Yeah. When, when Huggy was there. Well, Rev comes at me every chance he gets too like look at all the past live streams in the last month or two so yeah true. Together. and i do yeah, think like, like literally, huggy, i literally, i think I know, Hug go ahead go like ahead. i know ember and huggy have kind of been at odds for a while but i did yeah. see ember kind of like come to huggy's defense when rev was like going at him one day like a yeah. week or two ago but according to Huggy, what he's told me is that Rev's been doing this for a long time. And I think tonight, it's like he found the opening where he just, like, he can fully unleash everything that he's wanted to say to Rev in an open space where people are, where Rev wouldn't, like, try to ridicule him or manipulate the situation. Because that's what he's been telling me, is that, like, fucking Rev's been doing horrible shit to Huggy behind the scenes. And that's why, when, that's one of the big reasons why Huggy left the podcast, is because Rev started, like, joined yeah on uh one of your guys' streams i don't know if it was you, yours burn or echoes when we had uh huggy in that vc talking mm. about why he left wall smashers the first uh response was because of rev and yes. you know rev was there in that call and started like pressing huggy really hard and then yeah. huggy switched it up to oh there's too many people i could feel like you know huggy was a bit uh you know, a bit like shab, like uh, he was a bit like bashful about like giving his like thoughts there because Rev was mm. there and like pressing. Mm. But yeah, I could see that. Like, you know, I think it was I think Huggy saw Rev. I think Huggy saw the kill shot tonight, and I'm glad that he took it. Because hmm. if Rev's been doing this fucking to Huggy for months now. Fuck it. <laughs> Who cares? There's no. I think this is like something Huggy's been like repressed for a while now, and then had the opportunity to say what he really wanted to say to Rev in an open space. And he went hard, bro. <laughs> he went hard. Dude, no, that was a great fucking like interaction. Like that was fucking fire. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean, should we wrap it up, boys? Maybe yeah, I think that's what we can go My final statement, uh, Samuel, you're fat, your channel's boring, Ace Howler's a, a fucking snake, he likes to run and hide in the tall grass. Mm. Um, <laughs> any of you guys want to do the outro? Oh, good. Alrighty, and... well, that well, is at least we tried. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> time, at least, least we tried. Yeah, yeah, everybody, yeah at least we tried the away, ending. Send us away. Everybody do the, the outro at the same time, you ready? Yeah. Alright, three... Two, one. Until next time. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> this is so cringe. Oh, this is so cringe. So cringe for the dead air. All right, yeah. we're out of here, y'all.